In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about finite and infinite sequence of Bernoulli trial. Let EVN experiment having two possible outcomes. Say S is for success and F for failure. Then the sample space capital S is with S and F. Let's take an example tossing of a coin for this experiment h is head and t for tail let e1 be an experiment tossing of a coin first time. Then E2 is the same experiment, the tossing of a coin again. E3, the same experiment, tossing of a coin again. In this way, say En, tossing of a coin again. If we can make a sequence with this experiments E1, E2, E3 up to En whose outcomes are independent then the sequence is called finite sequence of Bernoulli trial. If we do not stop here, we continue. Say E1, E2, E3 up to En, then we continue towards infinity, then this sequence is called infinite sequence of Bernoulli trial. Here is an example. By this example, it will be more clear. A player repeatedly throws a coin and scores one point for a head and two points for a tail. He stops throwing whenever he scores a total of five points. Find the probability of scoring 5. This example is of finite sequence of Bernoulli trial. Let us take H as head and T for tail. Then probability of head is half and probability of tail is also half. Now the event scoring 5 is in how many ways 5 points can be scored? H, 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 H. For each H, there is one point. So for 5 H, 5 points. Then 3 H, 3 points and 1 T. These 3 H and 1 T can be arranged in 4 ways. So we can write H, H, 
T H then H T H H then T H H H these are the four ways again five can be scored from H T T H for one point T two points T two points so five points now these H and T's can be arranged in T H T and T T H these three ways here we have to stop there is no other way to score five points now let us write the event scoring five H H H H H union H H H T union H H T H union H T H H union T H H H union H T T union T H T union T T H now the probability of scoring 5 is all of these are mutually exclusive events so we can write adding them probability of h h h h h plus probability of h h h t plus probability of h h t h plus probability of h t h h plus probability of t h h h plus probability of h t t plus probability of t h t plus probability of t t h now as they are independent we can write them probability of h 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 plus probability of h probability of h probability of h probability of t plus probability of h probability of h probability of t probability of h plus probability of h probability of t probability of h probability of h plus probability of t probability of h probability of h probability of h plus probability of h probability of t probability of t plus probability of t probability of h probability of t plus probability of t probability of t probability of h now we know probability of h is half so here we have half power 5 plus here half power 4 and 4 
terms are there so 4 multiplied by half power and then 3 multiplied by half power 3 so this is 1 by 32 plus 4 by 16 so 1 by 4 and 3 by 8 so this is 32 and 1 plus 8 and 12 9 plus 12 21 this is the required probability Hope it has given you a good understanding of finite and infinite sequence of Bernoulli trial. We will discuss more in the next video lecture.